Hi and hello everyone, I'm Coral and I'm here to talk pot news with all of you. I left you hanging for a couple of weeks and I'm so sorry about that, but I am back with a recap of this week's most popular news nug story. This story actually hits closer to home than most news nug stories because it involves a friend of my channel, Charlo Green. Charlo Green has been on Stony Sunday last year, and you guys may know her as the news reporter that famously quit her job with the fuck it, I quit line in support of advocating for legalization in Alaska and running the Alaska Cannabis Club. Currently, Charlo Green is looking at 14 counts, which could result in 54 years behind bars for her ownership of the Alaska Cannabis Club and six undercover operations and two raids that happened at its premises. It's been clear from the reports that I've read that Charlotte Green was not present at the Alaska Cannabis Club when the undercover purchases or donations for cannabis took place, but because she was the owner of that club, she alone is facing charges. How can this happen in Alaska at all? Because they have passed legalization and they have allowed medical marijuana for years? Well, it's because of their confusing medical marijuana laws that never really allowed for safe access points for patients and the people that took it upon themselves to create access points in the months leading up to the legalization that happened in November of 2014. Charlotte Green was allegedly running that club, whether or not she was present, and until that law that had passed in November of 2014 actually went into effect in February of 2015, the donations or purchases of cannabis would be considered crimes. It might be simple that she was early to the game, that she did break the law by not waiting for the deadline, but looking at 54 years for a crime that is no longer a crime is frightening. This particular article said that it's unlikely that Charlotte Green would face all 54 years in prison, but doubtful's not enough. We need to raise awareness of what's going on. We need to rile people up and let them know that a non-violent, peaceful woman that was running a successful business does not deserve to spend decades in prison for something that's now legally happening in her state. If you hadn't heard about this story yet, do go and add Charlo Green on social media. She's on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. She's wherever you are. And I have more information about this story in particular in the links down below. Thank you guys for watching, for staying informed while you stay high. I really appreciate it. If you watched this video all the way till the end, please give it a like or a thumbs up and share it with someone who didn't know. We can't let Charlo face this alone, and hopefully if we were ever looking at the same thing, we wouldn't feel alone and the cannabis community would be behind us as well. Stay high, you guys.